Have you ever wondered where we came from? How did humans get here? It's a long and fascinating story. Before history books, before writing, there was prehistory. It's a time shrouded in mystery, but we're slowly uncovering its secrets. Imagine a time when giants roamed the earth and our ancestors painted stories on cave walls. This is our journey to the dawn of humanity. Our story begins billions of years ago. It's hard to imagine such a vast expanse of time, but every step, every change led to you being here today. Let's travel back to the very beginning and explore the incredible journey of mankind. Get ready for adventure. We're going to uncover the mysteries of our past. From the first spark of life to the rise of civilizations, get ready for a wild ride. The past is waiting to be discovered. Imagine a tiny point, smaller than a pinprick. This point exploded with unimaginable force. That's the Big Bang. It created everything around us. Space and time began in that instant, about 13.8 billion years ago. It's hard to grasp, isn't it? The Big Bang wasn't just an explosion though, it was the birth of the universe. Over millions of years stars and galaxies formed. Our own Milky Way galaxy was one of them. Inside the Milky Way a cloud of gas and dust started to clump together. Gravity pulled this swirling cloud tighter and tighter, it became incredibly hot. Finally, about 4.5 billion years ago, our Earth was born. It was a fiery ball of molten rock, nothing like the planet we know today. But over time things began to cool down, the Earth's surface solidified and water vapor condensed to form oceans. The stage was set for life to begin. Imagine a world without trees, animals, or even insects. About 3.5 billion years ago the Earth was a very different place. The first signs of life emerged in the warm, shallow waters of the oceans. These weren't animals or plants as we know them. They were tiny, single-celled organisms. But they were alive. These tiny life forms were incredibly adaptable. They evolved and changed over millions of years. Some developed the ability to use sunlight to make food. This process, called photosynthesis, released oxygen into the atmosphere. Over time the air we breathe was created by these early life forms. Life in the oceans flourished. Simple organisms evolved into more complex ones. Fish appeared, along with jellyfish, corals, and all sorts of amazing creatures. The oceans were teeming with life. About 65 million years ago, dinosaurs ruled the Earth. But a cataclysmic event, probably an asteroid impact, wiped them out. This extinction event created opportunities for other animals, including our distant mammalian ancestors. These early mammals were small and furry. They lived in trees and ate insects. Over millions of years they evolved into primates. Primates had grasping hands and feet, perfect for life in the trees. They also had larger brains than other mammals. About 7 million years ago in Africa, the lineage that would lead to humans split from the apes. These early human ancestors were different, they began to walk upright on two legs. This freed their hands to use tools. Over millions of years our brains grew larger, and our ancestors became more intelligent. They learned to control fire, make clothes, and build shelters. Section 5 – Life in the Stone Age Imagine a world without cars, phones, or even metal. For most of human history our ancestors lived in the Stone Age. This period gets its name from the tools people used. They made tools and weapons out of stone, wood, and bone. Life was tough in the Stone Age. People had to hunt animals and gather plants for food. They lived in caves or simple shelters to protect themselves from the elements and wild animals. Families lived together in small groups called bands. They moved around a lot, following the animals they hunted. Despite the challenges, Stone Age people were intelligent and resourceful. They learned to make fire, which provided warmth, light, and protection. They also developed language to communicate with each other. Life in the Stone Age may seem primitive to us today, but it was a time of great innovation and adaptation. It was during this period that humans laid the foundation for civilization. Section 6. The Ice Age Challenge Imagine a world covered in thick sheets of ice where winters were brutally cold. That was the reality for our ancestors during the Ice Age, which began about 2.6 million years ago, and lasted until about 11,700 years ago. The Ice Age was a time of extreme environmental change. Glaciers advanced and retreated shaping the land, sea levels dropped as water froze into massive ice sheets, animals like woolly mammoths, saber-toothed cats and giant sloths roamed the icy landscapes. How did humans survive such harsh conditions? They adapted. 
They made warmer clothing from animal skins and built sturdier shelters. They learned to hunt large Ice Age animals for food and use their bones for tools and building materials. The Ice Age was a challenging time but it also forced humans to become more innovative and resilient. It tested their limits and pushed them to develop new technologies and social structures. Early humans get creative. Even in the harsh conditions of the Ice Age, humans found time for creativity. They began to create art, music, and stories. Cave paintings are stunning examples of early human art. Across Europe and Asia, archaeologists have discovered incredible images. These were made from natural materials like ochre, charcoal, and clay. They told stories and shared myths, passing down knowledge and traditions. Section 8. Out of Africa. For millions of years, human evolution had been confined to Africa. But about 2 million years ago, our ancestors began to venture out of their African homeland and explore new territories. This wasn't a sudden exodus. It was a gradual process of expansion and migration that took place over thousands of years. Small groups of early humans driven by a combination of factors like climate change, population pressure, and a thirst for exploration began to move into new lands. They followed coastlines, crossed land bridges, and gradually spread out across the globe. They reached Europe, Asia, and eventually Australia and the Americas. Along the way they encountered new environments, plants, and animals, adapting to a wide range of conditions. This dispersal of early humans out of Africa was a pivotal event in our history. It led to the diversification of human populations and the spread of our species to every corner of the planet. Section 9. Meeting the Neanderthals. As modern humans migrated out of Africa, they encountered other hominid species who had already established themselves in Europe and Asia. One of the most well-known of these archaic human groups was the Neanderthals. Neanderthals were stockier and more muscular than modern humans, with prominent brow ridges and sloping foreheads. They were skilled toolmakers and hunters, adapted to the colder climates of Ice Age Europe. For a time, Neanderthals and modern humans coexisted and even interbred. Genetic studies have revealed that most people of non-African descent carry a small percentage of Neanderthal DNA in their genomes. This suggests that our ancestors did not simply replace Neanderthals, but that there was a degree of interbreeding between the two groups. The exact reasons for the Neanderthals' disappearance around 40,000 years ago are still debated. Factors may have included competition for resources, climate change, or even disease. Whatever the cause, their extinction marked the end of an era and left modern humans as the sole surviving hominid species on Earth. Section 10. Farming and Villages For most of human history, our ancestors lived as hunter-gatherers. They survived by hunting animals and gathering edible plants, but around 10,000 years ago in a region of the Middle East known as the Fertile Crescent, a revolution took place that would change the course of human history, the invention of agriculture. Instead of chasing after animals, people learned to cultivate plants. They planted seeds, watered crops, and harvested the bounty. They domesticated animals like sheep, goats, and cattle, providing a reliable source of meat, milk, and wool. This transition to a settled agricultural lifestyle had profound consequences. People no longer needed to be constantly on the move in search of food. They could build permanent villages and accumulate possessions. This led to population growth, the specialization of labor, and the development of new technologies. The agricultural revolution was a turning point in human history. It marked the beginning of a new era, one in which humans began to exert more control over their environment and lay the foundations for civilization. Section 11, The First Cities. As farming spread, villages evolved into cities. Jericho, one of the earliest cities, emerged around 9,000 years ago. It had walls, monumental architecture, and a complex social structure. Other early cities arose worldwide, each unique. In Mesopotamia, cities like Sumer and Ur flourished. Cities marked a shift in society, leading to specialized skills and new forms of authority. Writing changes everything. Imagine a world without books, letters, or even grocery lists. For most of human history, knowledge was passed down orally through stories, songs, and rituals. But around 5,500 years ago, in Mesopotamia, writing changed everything. The earliest forms of writing were pictographic. These systems evolved into cuneiform and hieroglyphics. Writing allowed people to record information and preserve knowledge. 
it revolutionized trade, governance, and religion. The invention of writing marked a profound turning point in human history.